And this is actually a lightweight gun. At the National Armory in Pompano and, uh, Beach, they, business they is booming, and across the state it's a similar picture. Last year, gun sales in Florida were up 14 percent. You want to look at another AR-15, didn't sure. you? And with three times as many gun dealers as there are post offices, buyers don't have far to go to pick their weapon of choice. And I think there's some um, give and take that has to be figured out a little better. But perhaps surprisingly, range owner Gary Lampert isn't against tighter gun controls. He's worried about how some weapons change hands, but he's also deeply concerned that President Obama is acting alone. You know, you can't make, just make a rule that changes the Constitution of the United States. And that's what he's doing. It's a sentiment echoed by many gun enthusiasts and backed by the powerful National Rifle Association, or NRA. When we came to this range, many of those shooting were tourists from places with much tighter gun regulations. And for many, the U.S.'s gun culture is an alien concept. It's, I think that's the principle here. Eh? I mean, the, the NRA, that's what they, they figure, that if you don't have a gun, you can't protect yourself. But uh, on the other hand, if no one has guns, uh, they, uh, they won't shoot each other. By using his executive powers, President Obama is bound to deepen the rift between the pro-gun lobby and those fighting for tighter regulations. But according to one study, more than 99% of the population of this state lives within 16 kilometers of a gun dealer making background checks both convenient and ultimately safer. And some legal experts say the president's actions, whether unilateral or otherwise, need to be put into context. The fact of the matter is we've always had gun control. The founding fathers had gun control. President Reagan had gun control. George Bush, senior and junior, they also supported gun control. So this is not really an issue over whether or not somebody's coming to take your guns. It's about sensible regulations of dangerous products. It's unlikely that the president's actions will slow business down here or blunt the enthusiasm of a state that's already issued over a million concealed weapons licenses. But for enthusiasts in Florida and across the country, it's not what the president has done that's upset them, but how he's done it. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Pompano Beach, Florida.